han att en gula ledning. Vad är det att lag med trollen då? Did you consult the Volvo? And were your questions answered? Some questions were answered. Others I must answer myself. Do you think there is a place for Vili in our settlement? He expressed a desire to live and work with us. Will he not be Jarl of this Shire before the day's end? That remains to be seen. Some are more eager to see Trygvi in the high seat. Eivor, Trygvi has no intention to lead. He feels duty-bound to follow his master into death. Absolutely not. My father would never allow such foolishness. How else can I honor my Jarl, old as I am? This is no country for me. The future is yours, Vili. The flames of this pyre will burn for my father. You must live. I forbid you to follow him into death. I will not let you sacrifice yourself. Do you forbid me as a friend, Vili? Or as our new Jarl? As a man who would see you come to your senses. Vili. Trigvi. Each man wears one of Hemminger's boots. With both men unwilling to seize the other. Does the world need such useless, dithering men? Why not stake a claim yourself? Take this shire for your own. It is not my place. Your place is anywhere you lay your head. Any hill you summit. Any silver you take for your own. Do not limit yourself to niceties. Snottinghamshire deserves a leader to admire. A man the people can trust. Most love Vili, and he loves them. But he lacks the will to be leader. He could learn. But does he wish to? And Trigvi, sturdy and wise, and loyal to the legacy Hemminger Jarl left behind. Almost to a fault. But he is old, and his thrill for living has fled him. Hardly inspiring. You cannot! I will not allow it! I am not asking for your permission. Only your forgiveness. Gods, Eivor, put a stop to this fool's death wish. This is no small decision, Trigvi. And not without great cost. The Shire will be diminished without you. But I... I have nobody left. My life's purpose lies dead upon that pyre. That is not so. When people looked to my father for guidance, who did they see him turn to for counsel? Heminger Jarl was my rock. Yes, I gave him counsel, but he made the hard choices. If Heminger were here, would he not urge you to wield this wisdom for the betterment of all? And was your vow to serve Heminger Jarl unto death, or to serve his legacy and life? I will stay. You have wisdom, Eivor. More than I could have guessed. Eivor! <gasps> Suniva! Pigs were spotted moments ago, lurking in the thicket. Ville gave chase! Arsh stick! You should have roused me first. Show me where he went. Let us wake the others. The dark is lousing with pigs. I can take them on myself. Tell me where. They're not far. I'll show you. His rage has consumed him, Eivor. All this anger, this sadness, it has truly taken form. 
Our state was never one to temper his emotions. This was bound to happen. I should have been more vigilant. Do not blame yourself, Drenkur. He always had me to watch his back, as children, and again now. If this rampage is what he needs to rid himself of the sick that binds him, I will at least make sure he does not hurt himself. <laughs> Thank Odin he has the mighty wolf kissed as his shadow. There are things we do for family, Suniva. No questions asked. For you, I would have done the same. For any of Raven Clan. We know, Trenkur. That is why we are sworn to you. Here, Eivor. This was where Ville saw the scout killed and then charged after the enemy ahead. I will head back to Hemthorpe and make sure our raven stand vigilant. Return to us safely, Drenkur. The gods here are vigilant. right now. of the Kiem and Alia.
Of morning. Stop, Billy. They're gone. It's done. I've seen roosters fight with more spirit. Oddly enough, so have I. That's how. Footsteps. We need to fall back. Follow me. Quickly. Words, but when we get out of here alive, our stick. Moment to catch my breath. Ah, my sword's thunder hammer. That quickened the blood. Wild and reckless, like our first battles together. Remember the island north of Stavanger? I do. Kjetve the Cruel trained his berserkers there. Great lumbering fools foaming at the mouth. We taunted them from the treetops. <laughs> And the drunk one, remember? Naked as the morning. Froze his cock off trying to find us. Then fell to humping a snowdrift. <laughs> <laughs> I wondered if you had taken after your father. If you were now leading your clan. Well, you have your answer. I'd sooner take after a troll and leave this clan in your hands. That I will not do.
When my father was named Jarl, he had no one to help him, and still he triumphed. But I am not my father. I... I simply want to roam. Do you think Slipnir would be content bound to a stable? No matter how glorious it may be. Hey! What is that for? You have friends, Vili. What about Trikvi? Me? And your clan? Of course. I know that. You can't roam forever. Keep that in mind. You are surrounded by those who love you. And that will not change. Unless you push it all away. You... You speak the truth, I understand. Troll-faced arstic. <laughs> a chicken draugr. Is such a thing possible? For that does not seem possible. Voda too. A water infused with fire. I do not lie. <laughs> Your father's death aside, Billy. This has been... good. Fun, even. Do you ever wonder what might have happened if we had not been separated by the North Sea so early in our lives? What adventures we would have had. The raids, the battles, the glory. I even think about what we might have been to each other. I have, fondly. And often enough that it sometimes seemed you never left. Maybe you never did. I... I want you, Eivor. Your warmth. Your touch. Like this. I cannot say how I will feel tomorrow, Eivor. Shut up, Billy. You know that... that this was momentary heat, just a flickering flame. Yes. We let our passion set sail just this once. I should get back. Rest. The funeral will still be there when you wake up fully. Prepare for the funeral, I imagine. So many Danes, so many Norse. This will be the send-off Heminger deserves. All the funeral preparations are in order. Besieged by chickens, I see. Throw the dragons on the fire with the great yard. We shall devour them together. All the funeral preparations are in order. Be patient, Heminger Jarl. We're about to send you on your final journey. <laughs> the Tell me, what funeral gift did you manage to offer your Jarl? Some Voda survived the fire. It will keep Heminger warm in Odin's hall. If he's not careful, that Voda will burn all of Valhalla down.
Eivor, Brothers, we meet again. sisters, kin and clan. Eivor, my father sets forth on his final voyage. May the winds favor him. The nobles have offered up their funeral gifts. All but you. Present what you have, and the celebration may begin. I have it here. Council, you were the wisest. At the hearth, the kindest. In battle, the bravest. May the sign of Vegavisir, the rune of the way, guide you to the hall of many doors. Stand at my side. Speak from your heart, Hemminger, son. Today we mourn the passing of Hemminger Jarl of Nottinghamshire. My father. Our father. He was a towering force. A strength to fear and admire. Now gone. Yet together we are the example of his greatness. I see him in each of you. His love for battle, but also peace. For wisdom, sorrow, and joy. His generosity, his spirit. In you I see his life and his love of drink. Gods, did he love drink! <laughs> we are these things because he was these things. Father, we shall be to our children what you were to us. And when they are ready, we will meet you again. Give him a fine farewell. Suniva, ride to Hemfork. Prepare the longhouse for the Althing. The next Jarl will soon take his seat.
have they given their Jarl a fine farewell? They have. None drank so well and so deeply as Clan Hemminger's son. The declaration of succession must happen soon, before we are too drunk and exhausted to remember our names. I agree. Call on those who must attend. The Alding will begin shortly. You look uneasy. Burdened by grief. Drowning in need. And paralyzed by a sword. I stand between that man and Yarda. You stand side by side, Vili. One of you must step forward. My father placed us side by side, because he trusted your vision. So what do you see? I see a Dringer before me, a man who yearns for the glory of battle. Trigve should be Jal, and you, you should follow your own path. Wherever it may lead. Off a cliff and into the ocean, if that is what you need. <laughs> you know how to ruin a good moment, Wolfgist. Some time ago you asked about living with us as one of our war band. Is that something you still want? To raid with you and Bragi? Gods, yes. Imagine the blood and mead we would spill. For all time, son, and new alike. Watch the look on the old man's face when he hit. I stand before you as Vili Hemminger's son, but not as a Jarl. There is only one man with the needed honor and wisdom. Only one man my father deemed worthy of following him. Trigvi, Jarl of Snottingham. May you walk proudly in Hemminger's path. What is this? Old friend, you deserve this. And so much more. Be proud. My future is elsewhere, Trigvi. I will go with Eivor to live and fight beside the Raven Clan. I... I do not know what to say. Say yes. Yes. Thank you, Vili. Eivor. Well done, Arstic. Until my path leads me home, I serve under your banner, Eivor. Eivor, let my first decree be Hemminger's wish, an alliance between our people. When you call, we will rise. As we shall for you, Trikvijal. Come on, 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 come on,
Ranvi will want to know about this. It is time I return to the settlement. Good. Eivor's here. Now we can settle this. What seems to be troubling you? <laughs> this stick in the mud doesn't want to celebrate Ostara. It's the Equinox. The veil between our worlds will be dangerously thin. We need to prepare. Why not both? Prepare for the Equinox and celebrate Ostara. I see you've already started on the decorations. <laughs> of course we have. Here's what we do. We've also organized some new events and brought back some favorites from you. <laughs> All this noise and merriment will attract the spirits. I will aid you in protecting the settlement, Alvis. Good. Find me after dark. And before he explains the egg hunt to you, just know I was coerced. Now then, there is much to do. Novid will need your help decorating, and Maida might need some words of encouragement. She didn't take being crowned the May Queen very well. That is a lot. And this egg hunt? Oh, it's already started. Speak with me when you are ready to start the hunt.
Nice to see Sigurd back where he belongs. Man. You have a keen eye for quality. My pieces are good, but that one's very good. Done for now. May they sing of your deeds and my craftsmanship. <laughs> like to see what you have anything you find bring it to me is that everything what have you got for me you know you have use for this Pleasure, Eva. Basim, have you spoken with Sigurd lately? We talk from time to time. Why? Have you noticed any change in him? 
Any loss of, of happiness or feeling? He appears to me more thoughtful, introspective. Thoughtful? That seems an understatement. He speaks as if he hears the voices of the gods whispering in his ear. We live in a strange time, Eivor. Among stranger people. Sigurd may be among the blessed. But who can say for certain? Indeed. I bring fair tidings, Ranvi. Himingar Jarl in Snottinghamshire has passed, but his clan remains allied to us. Sad news, but you made the best of it. I saw my old friend Vili on my visit. He has now joined our clan and will serve as a raider on my ship. I remember the young man. He will make a fine addition to your crew. wishes to speak with you. He is quite agitated. Has something happened? You will want to speak to him yourself. <laughs> 